hello lovelies this is Chrissy cooking at home I'm Chrissy and no I'm not at home we are on vacation in the Outer Banks and today Prepper Potpourri is doing pumpkin palooza I definitely wanted to take part in that so about 20 years ago I came up with a lower sugar not sugar free lower sugar pumpkin cake with a maple cream cheese frosting I had given it to my type 2 diabetic friends um, and they really enjoy it. I mean, they still took their insulin, you know, counted the carbs and whatnot. So I really enjoy it and I haven't made it in a very long time. It's in this, I wrote it in this little book here. I haven't typed up these recipes yet to go in my binder because I'm still working on my recipe cards. But, put that there. So since we're on vacation, I went ahead and measured up my dry ingredients and put it in a zippy lock baggie. And I am lucky that when we got here, um, I found a rubber scraper, big bowl, measuring cups, no liquid measuring cup, but that's okay. We'll make do. And a mixer. Now, it's not my beast at home and that's okay. But um, I'm going to try to remember to put the measurements of these ingredients in the description box below. So it's, it's a much smaller kitchen than mine because mine's an eat-in kitchen, but it works. I made pizza yesterday for lunch for us and did just fine. All right. So in the baggie here we have... What do we have? We have two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a tablespoon of cinnamon, and a teaspoon of salt. I also have written down ginger and nutmeg, but I don't know if you saw my announcement video, but I'm pregnant and I'm a little sensitive to nutmeg and ginger. Not a big fan right now. So I didn't put that in, but I will put it in the list of ingredients in the description box because the original way... I loved it. Didn't think I would love it right now. You know, hormones. So let's see, 350 degrees, 13 by nine pan sprayed with baking or nonstick spray. I picked up an aluminum pan before we came. It's a little beat up from packing and traveling 12 hours, but that's okay. This is, for family that's coming in today um i've said in my other videos i've had weight loss surgery my sister's coming in today she's about to have weight loss surgery in a couple of months plus logan's diabetic so a lower sugar is good but it's not low carb it's not like uh, zero carb it's it's got regular flour for my diabetic friends i had even calculated back then using those books and you know now you can do it on the apps but the, the calorie counting books I put this as it makes 20 servings. The exchanges was one and a half starch. And one slice is 220 calories, two grams of, or 13 grams of fat, and 22 carbs, and four grams of protein. I can believe that. So protein's always good. So what we gotta do first is our sugars. We're gonna do a combination of I have some generic Splenda here, Splenda granular, and regular light brown sugar. We're gonna mix that with some generic egg beaters and one 15 ounce can of puree pumpkin. Not pumpkin pie mix. Make sure you read that can. Okay, so. Flip back here. We need, I haven't made this in so long. We need one cup of Splenda. Okay. Half a cup of brown sugar. 
And I probably could have mixed my sugars in a bag instead of bringing these two separate bags, but I was so busy doing so many things because I had a lot of doctor's appointments. I had a lot of back and forth with all my doctors about my neurological meds and about the pregnancy. I had the ultrasounds. Okay, so there's that. We need one cup of egg substitute. I don't have a liquid measuring cup, so this is going to have to do. Not ideal for me. I would prefer a liquid measuring cup, but when in this situation, you're not at home, you're in somebody else's kitchen, you know, this is owned by a family who rented out, you make do with what they have. And you don't complain because it's vacation. It's a lovely little cottage. It's all one floor. Fantastic. But there's a widow's walk outside that has a hot tub. And I was so excited for this hot tub. Oh, there's no one fourth cup. <laughs> hot tub no go. Because <laughs> we rented it before, way before the pregnancy. Well, that was silly of me to assume that all the measuring cups were here. We're going to have to eyeball this oil. I suggest using exact measurements, but we're going we're gonna to wing it. We're on vacation. And the family that's coming in today, they won't complain. My nieces and nephews will just be happy Aunt Chrissy cooked them something. Because we're going to have a cookout with burgers and hot dogs and sausages and I'm making a, a bacon ranch pasta salad and we're gonna have Sundays for dessert and then my niece my oldest niece is gonna cook something I don't know what yet it's a surprise so this is a one-third cup measuring cup I'm gonna kind of eyeball it I'm not gonna fill it all the way but I've been baking for 30 years or so now pretty good at eyeballing it pretty good and you know what? I feel like, I don't know why, it might be hormones, who knows, but I feel like adding a little bit of vanilla to the cake mix here. So we're going to do a whole teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I have, I grabbed an imitation because I was at um, Dollar General grabbing the extra stuff here for this because I'd already packed up everything and then I saw there was going to be a pumpkin palooza and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't care. The boys are asleep right now. We're going to go shopping today because it's going to be a cooler day today, supposedly. So today is shopping day. Logan's already got his hermit crabs yesterday. We went shopping before we went out on the beach yesterday. You know, I've said in other videos, Logan is autistic, and he does not like any kind of change. And that includes when he grows out of his clothes and he needs new. He gets upset. And this child has needed a new, there we go, swimsuit all summer. Too small. Growing boy. His dad was finally able to help me convince him he has to have a bigger swimsuit. Perpetual plumber's butt because it was too small. So we were able to go to Super Wings. They have them right now because it's off season. So buy one, get one free. So 22 bucks, two swim trunks. Awesomeness. All right, so we have all that in there. One cup Splenda, half cup brown sugar, three fourths cup vegetable oil, one cup egg substitute, a 15 ounce can of pureed pumpkin, I added a little vanilla. We gotta blend this up. Gotta plug in the mixer. That might help.
so well blended. Now it says we're going to add the remaining ingredients. So that's this baggie. <clears throat> All the dry ingredients I was telling you about. Now these aren't like huge serving size pieces. Obviously, I mean 20 pieces out of a 13 by 9. One more time, make sure I didn't forget anything. Prego brain got me forgetting stuff. Nope. We're good there. Smells good. Just mix until it's blended. And that makes sense. I'm just spinning the beaters. Unplug. Gotta wash those for the frosting. Pardon me, I need hydration. I think today we're going to go to our favorite little cafe and pick up some coffee. I'm excited to see what kind of flavors and decaf they have. All right, just scraping the edges, make sure it's all mixed together. See, it's a nice, thick, like a muffin consistency, almost. I'll just pour this in the pan. But I've already sprayed with nonstick spray. And once again, I was in a hurry and I grabbed butter flavor. Hopefully that will taste good. <laughs> so I did not mean to grab butter flavor. Okay, spread it out. My oven is ready. I turned it on before I turned you on. way it would be. Not that you heard the beep earlier. Okay. Try and get it pretty smooth. Okay. I don't want to use the towel for that. Paper towel. Smells good. Not making me nauseous, so that's good. You never know in pregnancy. Okay, into the oven. And we're gonna bake for 25 to 30 minutes until it tests done. And you know what? I didn't bring toothpicks or a cake tester. Hmm, I guess I'm trying to find a little skinny knife or something. Or I could go by touch. But I'm gonna wash these up and I will bring you back when it's time to make our frosting. I have, um, go ahead and tell you ahead of time. Okay, one eight ounce package of low fat cream cheese, the one third bath. And then you're gonna need softened one quarter cup, so half a stick of butter, half a teaspoon of vanilla, two drops of maple flavoring, half cup of Splenda with a half cup of regular powdered sugar. And that's it. That's the maple cream cheese frosting. Doesn't that sound amazing? Yeah. All right, I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Okay, so cake is done. It's out, it's cooled. I made breakfast, we ate cake. So I only needed 25 minutes in this oven. Every oven is different. 
I went ahead and put the butter and the cream cheese I showed you in the bowl. So it's a half a stick of butter or a quarter cup and one eight ounce brick of cream cheese. Now we're gonna do half a cup of Splenda granular and then a half a cup of powdered sugar. teaspoon of vanilla, maybe a little extra, oh well, who doesn't love vanilla? Some people do, don't. Okay, and then we have our imitation maple flavor. Just a couple drops, one, two. That's all you need, because this is pretty strong stuff. Now we're going to whip it. You want to make sure your cream cheese and your butter are nice and soft at room temperature. I don't think one of my beaters was in all the way. Now it's in there. There we go. Now it's in there. So Now normally at home I would use my offset spatula. Oh, nice and fluffy. Yeah. I wish I could get on camera how fluffy this is. That was a big pop. But what was I gonna say? I'd use an offset spatula at home, but I didn't think to bring one. And that's no big deal. Just those little little tools of convenience, you know. I knocked over my little cookbook, which knocked over the maple flavoring. I'm trying to get every drop of this frosting, every little dollop. Because it's not a lot of frosting, as you can see, but it's just enough. It's not like you have to have a ton of frosting on a cake. I mean, you can always double this if you want a ton of frosting, but it's going to change your carb count. If you were serving this to someone who's diabetic and needs to count their carbs or their starch exchanges. Which I'm not even sure how many people still do starch exchanges. That's not something we were taught when Logan was diagnosed with diabetes. It was just a really complicated formula to input his carbs, what his blood sugar level is, and then you do these two separate, three separate math equations to come up with the units of insulin he would need for that meal. Let me tell you, the insulin pump has made life so much easier. Because now all we do, since he has a CGM connected to it, and it gives his 
blood sugar reading every five minutes is we just punch in his carb count in the pump and it does all that tricky math for us. Now, if you know you wanted to do this around more closer to like Halloween, this pumpkin cake, some nice Halloween sprinkles would be cute. Okay, now I just ate breakfast, so I'm not planning on eating anymore because my sleeve can only handle so much, but I am going to cut this open, not open, cut it up and get out a piece and show you what the inside of this cake looks like. Okay. Right now I'm just doing a little, because it's not going to be perfectly smooth all the way across, I'm doing taps like you would a meringue pie. The way my great grandma would do a meringue pie before I started piping. sugar pumpkin cake. See how beautiful that looks? And this frosting is rich for the cream cheese and the maple flavoring, so you really don't need a ton of it. But if you want to double it, double it. But recalculate the carbs and everything if you're serving this to somebody who's counting carbs. Oh, if my belly wasn't so full, I'd so take a bite right now. That's absolutely gorgeous. So that is my October pumpkin palooza lower sugar pumpkin cake with a maple cream cheese frosting. Fabulous, right? All right, till next time, guys.